Phones are getting a lot more expensive. Yes and no. I just want to clear the air before I show you the top 5 phones under $100. That phones are not really getting expensive. It's the flagship phones, the one that you hear on the advertisements all about. Those are the ones that are getting more expensive. While the mid-range and budget are maintaining their price over the last decade. Hi there, welcome to my channel. I post tech and aviation related videos. If you are interested, please be sure to subscribe. So without wasting any more time, I'll be presenting you the top 5 phones under $100 right now. Starting off, we have the ULE phone Note 7. So as you can see, the ULE phone Note 7 has a triple camera setup at the back. But let's talk about all the specs. Firstly, it has a 6.1 inch display with 80.2% screen to body ratio. That's quite a good amount actually. It runs Android 8 Oreo, it has 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage with an SD card expansion up to 128 gigs. So the cameras is the most fascinating part here. It has a 8 plus 2 plus 2 megapixel camera at the back that can shoot mediocre video at 720p at 30 frames per second. On the front, we have the 5 megapixel camera that can shoot at 720p at 30 frames per second. The battery here is rather big. It has a 3500 mAh battery, which is quite impressive. iPhone 8, I mean iPhone SE 2, you have less than 2000 mAh. Okay, so this phone has a water knob drop design and it has face unlock. It is mainly a plastic build because I mean it's a hundred dollars actually it costs ninety dollars so for ninety dollars you're getting quite a good deal actually so this phone has the best display out of all the five phones I'll be talking today but now let's go to the next one which is the Doji X90 so Doji has sparked quite a controversial topic about dual cameras back in 2017 but that was three years back and they have improved and we should recognize that the camera they have a really not really good phone for 80 dollars which is the x90 i'll be showing here what you're getting for 80 dollars is a 6.1 inch display with a resolution of 600 by 1280 it runs one of the latest android versions of android 9 pi it has 1 gig of RAM, which is probably the downside, and 16 gigs of storage. But it has an SD card slot that can expand it up to 128 gigs again. It has an 8 megapixel plus a 5 megapixel camera at the back that can shoot in 1080p at 30 frames per second. It has a water drop notch with the 5 megapixel camera that can shoot at 70, 720p. Sorry, my bad. And it has a rather large battery of 3400 million powers. So that's a really good value for $80. Now moving on, we have the Elephone A4. So I'm not a fan of Elephone because they created something called the Elephone Q, which is probably the worst smartphone out there. Anyway, this phone, I have to admit, is a really good value for money phone. For 70 bucks, you're getting a 5.8 inch display with a resolution of 15 12 by 720 it runs android 8.1 go edition it has a great 3 gigs of ram but only 16 gigs of storage fear not you have an sd card slot that can fit 64 gigs there so the camera now camera is really important nowadays camera wise you are packing a 8 megapixel rear camera that can shoot at 720p at 30 frames per second at the front you're getting a 5 megapixel camera that can also shoot in 720p a 3000 mAh battery enough to last a day next we have the umi dg umi dg 3s a3s okay what a name but anyway this phone is probably the best value for money here you are getting 
a 5.7 inch display and it runs Android 10. Android 10, the latest one out there. It has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, but an SD card can make that to 128. It has a 16 megapixel camera plus a 5 megapixel camera able to shoot in 720p. The front camera has a whopping 13 megapixel camera in it. I mean, it's a camera. And it can shoot at 720p too. There's a mega big battery at 3950 milliamp hours. That's enough to last a long time. Now, the best phone is the Samsung Galaxy A10e. You're getting a Samsung phone for $99. Okay, let's round it up to $100. Anyways, you're getting a 5.8 inch uh, display with Samsung's Infinity V display, or uh, what most people call it a water drop notch design. It has a resolution of 720p. I mean, it has a resolution of 720 by 1560 and an 81.4 screen to body ratio. It runs Android 9. It has 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You can expand it up to 512 gigs with an SD card. So this phone supports fast charging and Samsung included in the box, not like Apple. Anyway, that's yeah, getting an 8 megapixel front camera able to shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And the front camera can shoot at 720p and it takes decent photos, but not great. Over that, you have a 3000 mAh battery, which is above average. I mean, what can you expect? This is a Samsung phone, a world-renowned brand selling a phone for $99. What more can you ask? Personally, all these phones are great. Mm. Let me know in the comments below if you have any better phones. Remem Please remember to hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and feel free to leave me a comment as I'm new and always there to learn. Once again, thanks for watching and see y'all next time.